out of all the people that I've heard interviews, um, people that I've talked to, about 95% of them who've lived through the situation and were able to tell through them, none of them ever had martial arts training. None of them were experts in any kind of tactics. They were just normal people in a horrible situation, and they lived through them because something just in them saying, oh, not me, not today. So before you leave today, write yourself a directive. Something that's in the future that will 100% is your goal. And I'll give you an example. My daughter's 20, her wedding day. I can visualize, I, I'm, I'm super motivated about it. I know, she's a Christian, so I know he's gonna be an awesome man, so my expectations of him is gonna be really high. And I can see myself on that wedding day bawling my tears out. <laughs> a Avery is part of it, and me walking my daughter down the aisle. When somebody steps out in front of me with a gun, he's trying to mess up that directive. He's trying to take away that day I'm walking my daughter down the aisle. That ain't going to happen. So he's an obstacle to something I know I'm going to do. That's called directive. I know for a fact I'm going to be walking my daughter down the aisle. No one's going to take that away from me. So three guys, four guys, Hispanic guy with, with a knife, does not matter. The will to make that day is coming. I'm going to be there. I've already visualized. I've already told myself. I, knew, I, I can see myself crying that day. That's a directive. You need to have one. So when you go to work and you show that house and that guy is like closing the door and locking it behind you, you're like, oh, no. I got different plans, brother. Does that make sense?